Yes, 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 yes. What's up? What's up, everyone? Welcome. What's up, guys? What's up? Sure that <clears throat> voice is a little bit more deeper. What's going on here? Uh, That's cold stuff. Maybe it's because of Simi. What do you mean? Because our voice is tiny. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Facebook, yes, YouTube, voice. Instagram. Let's talk about Hello. it. Hello. What up? What up? What up? <clears throat> my name is Ola. This is my beautiful wife, Lola. Hi, guys. We're gonna hang out for an hour or so. Yes, yes, yes. About one hour. We're gonna try yes. to stick to it. Um, all right. So we are today. We're talking about abuse and marriage. You have an email for us? No, I don't have an email. I have a story for, for us. She has a story for us. I have a story for us. She has a story for us. Story, so story of... we're gonna try to talk about uh, this topic as usual. We're gonna put some in depth to uh, in-depth analysis. Um, and it's probably not going to be what you expect. I'm sure you, if you're interested in the topic of relationships, love and marriage, you probably have your own ideas that you've heard in common places when it comes to this kind of things, right? Right. So, so that's understandable, but let's just keep in mind that, you know, our own uh, ideologies are a little bit different. Not just because we created it is different, it's because, you know, clearly everything else you knew before does not work. Right. You know, because people are still struggling, uh, but it all starts with some kind of abuse. That's where it usually starts with. So today we will, you know, hopefully we have some time. We'll cover uh, about four different types of abuse. Okay. We'll talk about it, but let's get into your story. First. Okay, so this is the story. Um, this happened. Was it this week or last week? Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure, but of course, everybody knows about the story in Lagos. The guy that stabbed mm -hmm. his wife to death. Right. And uh, project. So, maybe, oh, the guy that stabbed. That, just okay. <clears throat> Wait, something's wrong with my voice today. I think <clears throat> just because I drank that people something are in cold. Other rooms, and they're trying to hear you. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Without yelling. My voice is extra deep. Anyway, so this guy stabbed himself to death. Okay. No, no, stabbed his wife to death and then killed himself. Okay, let me let me re let me read the story. The story is from Linda and KG. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean it's been trending everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's horror. A young man stabs himself to death over paternity issue at Lecky, Lagos State. Nigerian man stabs his wife to death and then commits suicide in their home in Lekki, Lagos State. A Nigerian man si simply 
identified as Femi stabbed his wife to death and thereafter committed suicide in their home in Victoria, in Victory Park Estate in Lagos State on mm -hmm. Sun, oh, June 21st, 2020. Mm -hmm. So according to the residents of the estate, the couple moved into the estate three weeks with their two young children. Okay. Not much was known about the couple, but just a day before the mother's suicide, they were spotted jogging together on Saturday night, June 20th. The couple? Yes. Mm. However, on Sunday, the man who is said to have always questioned the paternity of his second child mm -hmm. stabbed his wife to death mm. and then took his own life. A neighbor who spoke on the condition to LIB said... On Sunday afternoon, neighbors close to the couple's apartment heard loud music from their home, and this lasted for many hours. Mm -hmm. The neighbors went to the estate office to complain about the loud music right. and insisted that the estate officials go there and caution the couple. The estate authorities went to the couple's compound to appeal to them to turn down the volume of the music coming from their apartment. They, however, met with the wife's sister, who was downstairs with the couple's children. The sister immediately went upstairs so she can inform the, her sister and her husband about the complaint mm -hmm. laid by the estate authorities. Mm. She knocked several times but got no response. Mm. After waiting for so long, the sister and the estate officials decided to pull the door down. They were greeted by a horrific sight. Mm. Apparently, the man had killed his wife. Free, free. It is believed it was premeditated because when they got into the room, they saw different kinds of knives there. The woman's legs and hands were bound and her mouth shut with a cello tape. The husband used the clipper to shave her hair, mm. stabbed her head, her eyes, stabbed her multiple times with different knives. Hmm. The scene was nothing short of a horror movie. After stabbing his wife to death, the man committed suicide by drinking Sniper. Hmm. So, spokesman of the police command, Bola Elkana, confirmed the incident to LIB. It is true, homicide de detectives have sealed up the place. They have commenced investigation. The cops of the man and the woman have been moved to the hospital for an autopsy. Wow. Two kitchen knives were found there and two bottles of sniper. The woman had injuries from stabbing while foams were coming out of the man's mouth who is suspected to have taken those snipers. So the investigation is ongoing. Mm, okay. So that story right there is some crazy stuff. It is some crazy stuff. But this happened. I know. But a person would say, I'm going to be devil's advocate for a second. A person would say, I don't go through that. Kind. That's crazy. Like, that's like not, that's intense. That's, like, that's so that's not normal. That's like, not a norm. Like, why would I want to stab my love a bit, my wife to death? Amen. Right? Like, some uh, uh, people will say that. You know, what would you say to those kind of people that will say, um, yeah, that's 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 crazy. Like, I'm not that crazy. I know we argue every now and then. I'm bringing it down, I'm turning it down. Because again, when you hear the news that somebody just outrightly, especially especially when you call it premeditated, they had a while, they had time to think about. Yeah, they think about it. It's yeah. different from somebody who is just angry in a moment and, when, and, and blacked out. Thing and blacked out. What would you say to that kind of person? Because I like to believe that we are talking to uh, people that are. I, I don't want to say um, we're talking to regular people. Today, now, this guy is not regular. But starting from the point that he started premeditating how he's going to kill his wife, it wasn't normal either. Because, you know, people do say that the signs are there when someone is, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a crazy person that you would know, you would say it. But what if it's something snakedly planned like this one? Like, yeah. did the guy show signs of, you know... Yeah, and I want to stick crazy. to and I want us to stick to the message, which is regular folks that are having good old regular arguments, it's toxic as hell. They can't see eye to eye in the household, but they're normal. Hmm. Yeah, right? They're not premeditating how they're gonna kill, kill their wife. I'm laughing because it to me it does sound like this is an extreme situation. 
And whenever it happens, it's happened a few times, but that's among millions upon millions of people. That's true. All the, among all of those millions of millions of people, majority of them are going through marriage crisis and abuse is involved. And it's just maybe not physical abuse to that kind of point yet. Or don't let me say yes, maybe ever. Even if they would divorce, many people would never get to a place where, you know. Because people, you know, people are saying, ah, she should have known, she should have seen signs, she should have gotten out. But I'm thinking in my head, did she know? Because this is really premeditated. Maybe she didn't even see it mm -hmm. coming at all. Right. She didn't have a chance so, to run so, for her life. So now, again, I just wanted to separate them. These are real issues that happen. I can welcome, I can thanks for hanging out. I can say it's regular folks can have mental breakdown. Yeah. That's absolutely true. That is true. But again, mental breakdown, right? Or mental breakdown today. Let me plan for the next three days how I'm going to remove this woman. Hmm. Like, I don't want to say never say never, right? And I'm not going to say read never. That a long time ago. And, and I'm not going to say ever. But here's what I, I found with that. You know, that's crazy. Here's Here's why that's disturbing me <laughs> somehow. This is why it's disturbing me because I've been through marriage crisis and I knew that I would never get to a place. And I've been angry before and act out of character because I'm angry. But three days ahead of time, and we're talking murder. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of extra. And yes, it happens, but. When something makes news, that's among millions upon millions of people. Reason why I'm I'm saying that there are two sides to it. I want you to know that anything is possible. That's number one. So if you see signs, you better run. <laughs> um, like this story, when I saw the story, it mentally drained me. Like I was so disturbed by for the fact that I've been hearing a lot of domestic mm -hmm. issues as in domestic violence stories mm -hmm. i i just shut down like look i need to protect my, my my energy my space i am seeing too much going on yeah and it's driving me nuts and then i saw the story i was just done and speaking like, of why the, would someone do that speaking of the spouse? that's the other side of, of this whole thing the other side of driving you which is driving you nuts right i, I can't any I can't any it. normal most women who sees this kind of news will fantasize about the possibility of them being in that situation. Why would I want to fantasize? The well, idea of being in that the, situation. Not fantasize. Jesus. Let's, I think you think fantasy is always positive. I mean, start thinking or have the fear. Or maybe you can start be, relating to that. They will relate to it. Or their situation. It. Why? They will relate to it. They will be scared. They will be afraid that even if they had just a simple argument every now and then. By the way, arguments are not They'll simple. They'll be looking at their spouse funny. Right. Arguments are not simple, um, by the way. Yeah. Because again, when somebody tells their story, a young lady tells her story and she tells you, before I knew it, she uses the phrase, before I knew it, he was stabbing me in my hands, right? Before I knew it, there's a lot that transpires between that. Or is it some kind of somebody who is premeditating? Is that the only thing that transpired about how they're just going to kill you? That's a cycle. I'm sorry. So the, that, the, you've so, lost your shit for you to get down that way. Yeah, yeah. It, because he ended his own life, right? So while we want to say that's not normal, it can, like, the devil can use anybody. That's number one. So it's not necessarily not normal. That's double negative. That means positive, right? It's not necessarily not normal or it's not necessarily not common, but it's still not common because millions of people, but millions of people are going through, like Akin said, uh, emotional breakdown mm -hmm. at maybe a uh, minuscule, micro level, mini, and that's what builds up to this kind of thing. And you just never know where somebody is coming from. So, the other side of it, I was going to say the other side of it. The first side of it is that, it, can, can somebody be that crazy? Yes. The other side of it is that, could you watch news like this and then start building fear and then start having uh, fear that can act, that fear by itself would destroy you. 
without you having that situation in your household. Yeah, yes, but if you have possible. any kind of domestic violence uh, issues in your house, mm -hmm. you should basically learn from this one. Yes, yes. And, and it's, it, I agree 100% because it comes down to this. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. To be sorry. sorry. You won't even be here to be sorry. Right. So your family does not miss out on, on, on all that. A lot of men will probably say, oh, that's crazy. But here is the thing. When you're in your company where you work, there's something called quality control. There's something called prevention mm -hmm. and all those kind of things. And you study those things and they study from the standpoint of worst case scenario. Mm. They don't say, ah, you know, usually it happens very small. So let's not worry. No, if you work in a hospital setting, right? And they start teaching you quality control, prevention measure, measure. <laughs> my, 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 my age factor is coming out really bad. So I'm sorry, guys. Just work with me. It's okay, okay. baby. Just keep going. We understand what you're prevention saying. Prevention measures, right? Yes. Your prevention measures. And when they start teaching you these things, they teach you from a standpoint of, they teach from a standpoint of purely worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this is not sales. In sales, you paint a picture from a best case scenario because right. you want that person to buy into what you're offering. Mm -hmm. But when you're dealing with prevention, you have to prevent from, from that standpoint. So I always tell people the worst case scenario is somebody dies. Mm. So if you experience any level of physical animation, act out, like even somebody bangs a table and they do it, if they do it once, they need help. I totally agree because next time it might not be bounced on the table. Yeah. It might be the table will be thrown at you. Yeah. So we really people really need to pay attention. Yeah. And if you're in a you're in a relationship where you're being abused, please do yourself a favor. Yeah. Yourself a favor, not the other person. Yourself a favor and get out. Give so, them room to think about what they've done and yeah. how they can help themselves. Absolutely. So this is I know you most people will feel like this is, I'm not dealing with this. Well, here's the thing. You never know. You may know someone Who's, who yeah. will deal with this and God forbid you have to deal with that, right? right. Uh, physical abuse is not to be taken lightly. Mm -mm. Um, and once you have that first experience, because it's just hard to come out because you don't, most women don't want the embarrassment. Right to come out and say my husband did this. Most women don't want that because of judgment. Right? And a man who is a proud man also don't want to be telling their business like that. Like because there are women who are absolutely violent. Oh right? yeah, I know men that are getting so, beaten in marriage. So it's not about <laughs> just women. It's right. like men and women going through this stuff. So you always want to treat it like everything has already gone worse. If mm. somebody act out emotionally yes even if they're saying i'm sorry i didn't mean to say apology accepted <laughs> change but, behavior need. but <laughs> but but we must seek help i have to see mm -hmm. that you're sorry mm -hmm. i have to see that change in you no, no no i'm not talking about you i'm talking about you as a couple because that's one of the issues okay it could be anybody yeah, but if someone is beating mm -hmm. on you, you're not gonna just say, no, "Oh, I'm not talking about beating I on hear you. the story." I didn't get to beat on you yet. Okay, I was talking about even if they bang on the table. Oh, okay. even if they bang, they just throw stuff at stuff at the wall when they are hungry. Honestly, I would. That's a lot. I would say, excuse yourself, but from a place of we gotta seek help. But I'm gonna excuse myself to a hotel room for the next few days while we we'll seek help. That right there is what the devil uses. Yeah. And even if you may have been the person, because a lot of people will blame themselves. I caused it. Well, no, you never really caused that. No, no, no. You know, no, no. you're just an environmental factor, mm. right? Maybe you did say something that was provoking. Yes, that's possible. Yeah. But you never, you're never really the the core. That person has the ability to be violent. If they didn't have the ability to be violent, they wouldn't do that. Right. So I know it's a little bit extreme because probably if you asked me this last year, two years ago, three years ago, I'll probably say, oh, if he never beat you, then it's not. No, if he it's bangs the table or throws stuff uh -huh. or she, mm -hmm. then then at that point in time, 
you have to seek professional help. And when I say professional help, we have some hotlines on the screen that I pulled up. If you're in Nigeria, you can go to that website. Honestly, it was hard to find anything in Nigeria, but wow. if you're in the United States, that's the line right there. But even if you are overseas, you can send DMs, email, anything like that. We'll find the resources for you. We just wanted to touch that really, really quickly. And, um, and, and, and just because that's like the worst case scenario but to be honest with you, all forms of abuse are essentially worst case scenario because things escalate from the mind. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily, it's already too late when people start expressing their violence or their anger mm. physically. Right. Okay. So it comes in different forms. It does. Right. And whatever your own, whatever the thing you're obsessed with, that's what the devil will use. Right. It could be your children. Mm -hmm. It could be just two of you. Mm -hmm. It could just be like, he touched my phone. And I didn't want him to go in my phone, so I threw the phone. You threw the phone. You destroyed the phone because of... You threw the phone anger. because you didn't want somebody to come into your phone. You could have killed somebody and then you end up in jail. You could kill your own children because they happen to show hungry. up in the corner at that yeah. moment in time. Yeah, it gets real. I'm telling, yes, you're right. I'm painting the worst case scenario, but that's how it happens to the few, let's call it few people hmm. that end up on CNN, that end up on channel news. Hmm. Or Linda AKG, right? That's how, there's just no more people too, but things escalated, they lost control. They had a mental breakdown. A mental breakdown, you don't think it's possible somebody would do a premeditated thing like that, a uh, murder like that? That's yes. It's that is because, scary. Because you, when I tell people, you have to nurture your relationships, your mental health, self mental health. You have to nurture that because you're forgetting that you have a biological organ in your brain. That's just all it is. And it can go crazy. You're not any better than people that are crazy hmm. on the streets, hmm. walking like crazy people. No, you're not that better. You're not better at all, period. It's biological organ, and you just never know what can cause that. So the other side I was talking about is that instead of running wild and going crazy and destroying stuff together, because what happens is that when one person gets angry, the you other person engage. catches it, and the, engage, the engagement mm -hmm. is your responsibility. If you engage, that's your responsibility. So if somebody's arguing with you and you engage, you call it reaction, I reacted. Your reaction... It's an action. Mm. And you're responsible for that just yes. as much. True. So that's very, very important that we point that out. Neuron decor. Uh, she said, the world is full <laughs> of strange things. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So. Absolutely. There's hmm. a lot of strange things happening. What happens is that many of us are raised in a good household or not so crazy, majority of us. So we don't ever think that this is um, that this is our issues, that this is ever going to happen to you. We, we never think that. They don't see it coming. Until it happens. Yeah. You know? So um, what I'm going to say to that is that the worst type of, this is the worst in our head, worst type of abuse among the four that I'm going to present. But... It's not the worst, really, hmm. because everything else that I'm going to share with you can escalate to this is just worse physically speaking. It's already too late if you're going through physical abuse. Hmm. It's already extremely late and you need to excuse yourself and find help. I didn't say excuse yourself from marriage that, you know, that may not necessarily be realistic. It depends on your situation. For some people, it's easier. For some people, it's not that simple. They got kids. Right, this is a person they've not always yeah, known. But then there are also people that have died in the marriage. I'm not saying they kids. shouldn't. I'm not. I'm saying I they won't. Honestly, think mm -hmm. yes, it's hard, but you have to excuse yourself, especially you. Mm -hmm. You you are responsible for other. People. No, no, no. I agree with excusing yourself, but I didn't say from the marriage. Excusing yourself from a marriage is not the even for women that I said I want divorce. It's not easy. That's not something. It's, simple. No one wants to get married wants just to, to be divorced. Be divorced, right? But people get pushed into that corner sometimes. So there's a lot that has transpired over time before they get to that stage. So that, yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I said, don't put the pressure on yourself that you must end the marriage. 
if you want to end the marriage and that's what it means to you, then that means you have the, the, the actually that's, that could be strength mm -hmm. in many ways, you know, because ending the marriage now doesn't mean you can't get married to that person ever again. No, it definitely. doesn't mean that it could just be what you need to express to the world that no, I will not tolerate disrespect I need a break. or abuse. That's right. You know? So that's something that we should uh, pay attention to. All right. Did and you know, unfortunately, it's harder for people in Nigeria because that's what one of the things I hear a lot, like, oh, the culture, you know, you get judged by people for leaving your marriage. A woman is supposed to be in the marriage forever. Mm -hmm. uh, they say, Ilioko. Nileko, that's where you learn. Excuse you me. Yeah. That needs to change. I'm not saying that we don't learn in marriage, but we don't have to. Learning in marriage doesn't mean you have to be beaten up. Doesn't mean you have to die. You have to be Let's abused. Keep it simple. <laughs> right. well, it doesn't mean you have to die. Because remember, parents should be open to their kids coming to them and talking to some, 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 some parents are not even there for their children when they are going through marriage crisis they right. send them back and say just go and face it i i did mine with your father no right it's not okay so i think the culture too is a big part of uh the problem for them in nigeria like they don't encourage them speaking out if a woman is going through abuse mm -hmm. she should be able to seek help there's no support system so there's let's let's talk about seeking help for a second here uh, be, before i dive into seeking help no, right. three or four is mental and emotional abuse in the marriage. Yes. What is mental abuse in the marriage? What constitutes emotional abuse in marriage? Please, if you want to participate, you can feel free to drop a comment there on those questions. The question is, what is mental abuse in a marriage? What constitutes emotional, emotional abuse, abuse in, in a marriage? marriage? Mental and emotional abuse are essentially the same thing. And at one point, I felt like people use it as excuses hmm. to not work on their marriage. Hmm. So I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm hmm. just saying it should not be an excuse to not work on your marriage. You should always work on your marriage yeah. every day like you will work on yourself. You know, because people want to be very quick to say, oh, it's a narcissistic. She's a narcissist. Well, we are all narcissistic. Actually, babies are, We're all are the most narcissistic. <laughs> Babies are the most narcissists. They are. But we all have elements of not we all have narcissistic behavior in us, all of us, right? To a certain extent. We just don't want it to be abusive. We don't right. want it to be if if your spouse is now complaining about it, then then you're using it to abuse. Mm. Narcissistic behavior simply means you care about just your own self. Mm. Your self -centered. You can't see past yourself what you're thinking and what you want, you know, and it's just me, me, me. And you have a habit of pointing fingers. It's never your fault. It's mm. always somebody else's fault. Mm. You never find yourself in a position where you can take some responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's not even hard for you. It's not just part of who you are. You don't take You're responsibility. Just you just, you have no, you have no, you have, you, uh, excuse me. I'm always zen. Don't be using my word. Zen. Yeah. Sorry. Like, like you have, advertising Burger King over here. you have no, you have no flaws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Sorry. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that we know the difference, right? So what is mental abuse? What constitutes emotional abuse? It's, what I can tell you is that it does build up to physical abuse if you do it long enough, mm -hmm. okay? Because it's frustrating for someone to be on the other end of emotional and mental abuse. Right. And a lot of time, the abuser doesn't... That's what I want the victim to understand. It's very important that you seek help for your marriage as a whole, not just seek help for me, right? Mm. If you're seeking help for you, only when you're about to take responsibility, I am adding into this equation. Let me go learn how to not add negatively into this equation that makes up a relationship or a marriage. That's the only time that you want to work on me. On yourself, all right. If you go to your therapist to go complain about your spouse and how your spouse is just horrible and terrible and you're wasting money because they're going to call you out. A good therapist yeah, will call you out. therapists do call you yeah, out. Like, they'll okay, call you so out on your what's bullshit. What's your part in this? Yeah, yeah. Because you know. How do you think you, have a part. you are maybe <laughs> hating <laughs> or hiding to, to the situation because That's they're trying true. to tell you you're full of shit, basically. Because at the end of the day, it takes two yeah, it's a to create the dynamics that you have right now. Mm. It takes two, all right? So it's so if you find yourself, you just, 
you find yourself, you catch yourself, just try and catch yourself in the mirror. It looks like I'm pointing fingers all the time. Yes, by the way, that person could be guilty. That person could be wrong in so many ways. Absolutely, right? But I'm telling you that you are at least 50% of what makes up the dynamics. Some people say, no, it's only 10%. That's because you're measuring like in numbers, mm. right? But emotionally speaking, you can't measure in numbers. All you need is just that 10% to create 90% of calamity, mm -hmm. right? And that means you're essentially 50% of that equation because you chose to marry that person, to get with that person, to be in a relationship with that person. It could be your sibling. Or to even take the abuse. Oh, or you, some people will be like, oh, it's oh, going to change. You like abuse. You attract yeah. abusive situations. Yeah. There are people like that that just attract abusive situations because they don't know they how to think respect it's themselves. Love. Yeah. They, they, just they measure me. that. In the, that's how you know that you can't measure numerically like that. Mm. Because some people actually receive abuse as love. Oh, it's tough love. It, what? <laughs> I, I don't play with that. I'm sorry. I just can't. You know, so. Um, so yeah, so we're talking mental, and so when somebody, I want you to understand, try try your best when you want to complain about the other person, try to put yourself in the shoes of the other person, right? And say, this person is blaming, 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 and saying it's my fault, I caused this, I caused that. Either party needs to, both parties need to do that. How did that contribute to Because I was to gonna say, mm -hmm. now if you have a spouse, mm -hmm. that's not willing to work on the marriage. Mm -hmm. Cause you're saying they have to work on the marriage as a Let's whole. Let's break that down. How do you, because I feel like you can work on yourself. You can do things for yourself. Mm -hmm. You cannot force a donkey to the river. If he doesn't want to drink water, he won't drink water. Yeah. So yeah. when do you respect yourself and say, you know what? I'm gonna just do me. Let's break that down. By the way, if you're on Instagram, please help us share. That would be nice. Okay, or Facebook. But um, let's break that down. Mm -hmm. You said a person who has a spouse who does not want to work on the relationship. Yes. Right? Okay. If you have a situation like that where somebody doesn't want to work on the relationship, I would want to know how you communicated that we need to work on the relationship. Mm -hmm. I would want to know if you are you have deliberately in a deliberate manner communicated that and if they have they're not changing human beings are not set up to change if there's nothing they are losing by yes, changing that is absolutely true i don't care how old you are okay you're not set up to change your habits when you're not missing out anything if you don't change yeah there's a reason why it's an habit mm -hmm. uh, as a habit there's mm -hmm. a reason for that there's a reason for that it's because some part of your very being, maybe not deliberately, enjoys whatever is causing that situation. So now you're just going to change because you talked. Not necessarily. Maybe I won't change. You know? So it's very important. Hold on one second. All right. It's very important. I'll if you right hear back. more, just, yeah. Let me later. It's very important that you know that when you when you when you have two people working together in any form of relationship if you if you're in any form of relationship you have two dynamics like that right it's very important that you understand that it takes two to come to that place once you create that dynamic it's also very hard to come out of because it usually takes time to get into that space and there's habits that has been built right so you have to break that habit. So of course you want to start with by saying, babe, I don't like when you do this. Now, I don't like that form of communication because I make this mistake all the time too. I'd rather say, I'd rather find a way to flip it. There are some things that it's hard to flip that you just have to say. But for the most part, you can easily say, I like it when you do it this way. No, I just prefer that, right? Basically what you just said is you put the focus on what is like. Not what it's not like, not the negative. Because when you I don't like when you it put is, is when you negative. put attention on negative, it expands. it expands. Yes. When you put attention on positive, it also expands. So because it's about the feelings, it's not mm -hmm. about the physical things. It's about how you make people feel. Yes. So if you tell somebody, "I like it when you do it the other way," mm -hmm. suddenly the the brain is not they're not taking an offense they're that you don't like the other side. Their focus is, more, is on what you like. Okay, now there are times that your issues are deeper and it has to be addressed a little bit deeper, but 
I'm just saying, if everybody just start that way, right, things will be a lot better. So let's just say you communicated, you feel like you've communicated, right? And the person is not changing. There's something that the person is benefiting from you, right? But you're not benefiting from it because they have not changed. Sure. You need to hold on to whatever that is. Yeah. Onto the meanwhile, some Take people it say. Away. Some people say, "Don't, don't, don't use sex to punish people." Uh, I, I, I don't encourage that. However, oh, wow. however, mm. let me break that down. Don't use sex to punish people. You're right. If it's in fact using sex to punish people, that means if she's punishing herself too. Okay, but if the way she feels or he feels, they don't feel that person doesn't feel it right now because you have not changed. That's not a punishment. No. That's them commanding respect and saying, well, I don't feel like doing it. How is it that you want to, how could someone make you feel like crap and then you still get to sleep with them? Because remember, it's about the feeling. Oh. It's about the feeling. It's about how you make people feel. Right. So if you're not feeling like showing up to take care of certain responsibility because the other person is not showing up, as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting your kids, mm -hmm. it's okay. I, I can't keep doing I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like doing it. Why don't you feel like doing it? Because I don't feel right. Well, you can communicate a little bit further. It depends on the particular situation, essentially. Right. That's what, but it comes down to feeling. But when somebody is communicating that they want this or they don't like that, and you just don't know that they're saying it, you can't hear it. Just because you're in your own world, you're complacent. That's emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. Emotional abuse, mental abuse does not does not require your intentions to be emotional and mental abuse. Mm. Let me repeat that. Some people, I didn't mean to do that, so it couldn't be abuse. No, you're missing the part. You're missing it. You're missing it. You don't like that's not a, a prerequisite. Like that, I you're intending to hurt them doesn't mean you're not hurting them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's very important to listen in a relationship, to be listening, not just to words, but how you make people feel. Now, I say, I don't know the... Oh, you Morocco. Okay, <laughs> let me complete it for I you. I wanted to say that in English, but I think, mm. I think Yoruba was just right on point. <laughs> okay. We're not mind readers. No. Uh, neither of us, she's not a mind reader, I'm not a mind reader. So... You have to treat that with wisdom, with some love, right? You have to put a lot of energy into giving into the other person. That's why we stress giving. Find ways to give. Because if you give enough, that will swallow all the negative vibe that could come. And even if you hurt their feelings a little bit, they're more open to tell you that, uh, like, they're more open. But if you're busy just being complacent, like you're yeah, like, I don't think I'm abusing anybody, so it couldn't be abuse. Well, that's a problem because there's a good chance that if you're in a relationship with another person, you will abuse somebody at some point, especially emotionally. And that's the most dangerous. It's, it's, it's a silent relationship killer. It's the most dangerous because we didn't mean to hurt anybody, mm -hmm. but you are hurting someone. So by the time that person starts building resentments, Arguments, right? Arguments are just harmless. Mm. That's what you think. But what was the post I posted yesterday? It's, it's, it's some kind of silent killer too. Like people become silent enemies to you when and, you're engaging in those kind of Speaking of silent enemies, there are people that have been married for years mm -hmm. and they just don't have a relationship. And maybe the, um, the guy's not friends at all. Like the, the marriage is just complacent, like you're saying. Like they're basically roommates. The guy, the the man, the woman, they don't even speak more than maybe, except if it has something to do with the house. Yeah. The guy is trying to change, but or the bills. woman or the woman the woman is not giving him the benefit of uh of the doubt. Of the doubt. So I always say, I always say this, you know, because I feel like when people still want to change and they work on their marriage, mm -hmm. there's still something there. What about those that are they are gone, long gone, but they're just in a marriage. Yeah, yeah. How do you rekindle that kind of marriage? Well, the, the thing is that whoever wants to rekindle the marriage is the person we have to work with. It doesn't matter who is guilty or who was at fault. Mm -hmm. It's whoever wants the marriage fixed that we have to work with because that's all that's needed to fix a marriage. That's it. Okay. And, um, but you need the other person. 
well, we need the other person. You're right. But it doesn't always start with two people at the same time. So some men do say that, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I'm just talking they're, about they're being discouraged. Mm -hmm. They're being discouraged. Right. They're being shut down by their wives. Maybe yeah. because it's been a serial cheater, mm -hmm. but now he's really changing, working on himself. Doesn't matter that you've been a serial cheater. But he's frustrated yeah. that he's not getting. How many times you've cheated? The chance. By the way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> How many times you've cheated? Doesn't matter. What matters is if you are repeatedly still in it. Like if you are a repeat offender and you're in it actively. Of course, you sh shouldn't. You should just excuse honorably and just Honestly. be a man or a woman and back yes. out of the relationship. Really, yes. that's what you should do. But um, but um, has nothing to do with that. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you've cheated. It's about feelings. You're still counting, right? You're counting how many times. Like we're not when our soul is not human like that. Our soul doesn't count like that. It's based on experience. It's based on the experience we're having right now. How many people do you know that I've cheated so many times, but that wife or the husband, wife for the most part, I keep going back? Because mm. because for a moment they feel good about each other, and then she's back there, and then she reminisces about good times, and it's all it's a wrap, it's all over. Oh, they're just there and say it's because of my kids that's, that, that I'm here. That's not the example I'm talking about. I'm talking oh, about okay. people that actually came back because they having a good time in that moment, even though right. the misery is still there. Mm. The misery is being pushed under the rug for a second. For at least for a second, right? Because it's about feelings. It's about feelings. You make someone feel so. If a, if a spouse, a man or a woman, would learn patience is required, change the behavior, and patience. Because you change your behavior right now doesn't mean it's gonna work right now, mm -hmm. right? There's some patience. You to gotta have with patience that. for that person to trust you. Right. I think that's one of the problem too. Like people be like, "Oh, I've changed," but she's not giving me a chance. But you're also not giving her a chance to heal. Yes, that that's that. And 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 let me be frank. We had this conversation like two days ago. Last mm -hmm. night. It's hard to be patient. <laughs> okay, when you're when you're trying to when you're trying to win somebody back. And they don't seem to have forgiven you. It doesn't seem like they want to forgive you. The key word is sim. It takes time. These are feelings. Just like it took time to break it down, it's going to take time. It's probably faster to break it down than, it's than to repair to it. Build it. Yes. Just like Absolutely. anything else in life, right? Yes. So I'm going to tell you right now what I learned is generosity and patience. I agree. Focus on your. Now, if you're just waiting for that person to come back, it's going to be extremely difficult. Yes. That's actually time you're supposed to use to work on self development. Focus on your personal purpose in life, what you want, what you wanted to do. Like, never mind her or him right now. Focus on what you want to do for yourself and put all your energy in that. Whatever you're passionate about, that has nothing to do with them. And if you don't know what that is, you need help. You need a coach to help you identify your purpose. Right. Because that will milk you and that will take you away from that person so that they can miss you. Mm. All they need to do is miss you. That's all they need to do. And if you're in their face all the time, begging them, apologizing and saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Basically, you're reminding them of the hurt. That's true. Because it's about feelings. It's not about how many times you say, I'm sorry. It's not even about the I'm sorry. I'm sorry actually destroys more. Mm. It's about your okay? actions. It's your actions. It's your actions. And being patient, patience is not going to fall out of the skies. We're not patient as regular people. So you don't have to put that energy that. somewhere else. You have mm -hmm. to find a purpose to put that energy in. If not, you will fail at patience. You will nag about the fact that they're not forgiving you fast enough. And then you will destroy, you push them even further and further away. That's the way it works here. I know that it's uh, against a, a natural uh, is, uh, instinct a little bit, but that's the way it works with the brain. The brain only values what is not present all the time. Yeah. So if you are giving her and you think she should just see that you're ap apologizing, no, she's not going to see that. You know, she's, she needs the time. He needs the time. And that time that you, that energy, that time that you're going to take away from that person needs to be put somewhere else. And if you don't put it into yourself, you're going to put it back with them because again, you're missing that person. They're rejecting you at the, at this point in time. Rejection breeds obsession, right? It just gets worse and worse and worse and worse um i saw another story on um one of these blogs about um a couple i think they're from cameroon the husband brought the wife here mm -hmm. and maybe assisted her in school mm -hmm. she graduated 
things between them fell apart. She moved on, but um, the guy was bitter about the whole situation. Mm -hmm. And the lady was awarded the house, you know, she has the kids, she had the house. Mm -hmm. Then she ended up with a white guy mm -hmm. that she's dating. And the ex-husband got so angry about the whole situation. Eventually, hunt, he hunted her down and killed her like All an right. animal. Let me be the devil's advocate here. All this man being evil and killing people story. Oh, my God. There's, 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 Easy, there man. are stories out there. A couple of them out there. For, for some reason, this whole week and past week has been about domestic violence here and there, rape here and there. Like, hmm. what is going on? Why is it that people are, even if you lose, your wife does not want you anymore. What is it that is making a man feel like his life is over, that he will now kill the mother of his children? Because these things are real. They're it, it, out it's, there. It's the same thing. It's the it same happens in Nigeria and also thing. happens here in the U.S. Oh, yeah. And it's not only among Africans, by the way. We have... Uh... It's Caucasians, uh, African-Americans. Afri in fact, the old African one is new to me. I was like, oh, my God. I didn't know. Yeah. We have uh, Africans. We have a habit of saying, oh, it's just an Nigerian thing. They did it. No, it's not no, Nigerian thing. No, it's everywhere. not. It's not. It everywhere. All it's... you have to do is watch Discovery Channel. You see a bunch of it and yeah. you'll be freaked out. It's matters of the heart. Okay. That's what these things are. You have to nurture your relationship. You have to nurture yourself first. If you can't have a solid, rock solid relationship with self, it's impossible for you to have a relationship with God. Hmm. It's impossible for you to have a relationship with another human being. You would just find that you end up in, and then you look at, am I crazy? How come everybody's just acting up? Well, we could start they with patience. They don't know who you are. You know, we That's start just with what patience. it is. So because there's the same issues. There's the same issues. Just on same Insecurity. Mm -hmm. There are stories out there about couples being jealous Low of one another. Yep. Like, why would you, even when it comes to career path, like, why would you be jealous of your spouse because she's doing better than you? Because I believe that if your spouse is doing better. So it's not, it's not, it's not. It's you're, not we're both doing better as a team. That's how I see it. Yeah, it's because, it's, it's because it's not the jealousy. Like when you, if somebody comes to you and they want an advice and they say, I bet when you have a conversation with them, let's say they have a conversation with you first before they go crazy, right? Mm -hmm. I bet if they have a conversation with you, it's probably not because they're jealous. Mm. It's probably because of deep, deep on the line, insecurity, insecurity. low self-esteem issues, and it could be on either side. So but that comes it comes down to anger. It comes down to mm -hmm. anger and also self-development. Because if you're busy building yourself, Mm -hmm. If I'm in tune with myself, mm -hmm. that I am happy with who I am, what I am, what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I won't feel threatened by what my spouse is doing. Yeah. The only reason why you feel threatened by other people, let's not even make your wife and husband, you're threatened by other people because you don't feel self-adequacy. Yes. You just yes, don't have absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, once you know that you are, let's speak our language, made by God, hmm. right? Once you know that, you are solid, rock solid, and you don't really need another person. All you need is God, right? If you have that at the back of your mind as a core principle, if somebody is even acting out next to you and they're in relationship with you, the next thing for you to do is have patience with them and have some empathy. Ah, it's just people. Yeah, because you know? when they were talking about stuff about career, you know, men and women, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about Nigeria because I was watching the show and they were talking about it. Right. And a guy actually said, oh, no, it's the women. Sorry, babe. Hold on, thought. Let me address uh, Bratike here. Bratike says, guys, it boils down to individuals' ability to manage deceit and rejection. Mm. Yeah? I mean, uh, yes, absolutely. Because we're talking about low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Somebody did better than you. That's mm -hmm. what it looks like right now. Mm -hmm. Like no condition is permanent. That's number one. Mm -hmm. And their path has nothing to do with you. Even mm -hmm. if they, even if you're married to them, mm -hmm. their path has nothing to do with you. But you can't handle that. Right? And now you feel like the world is against you. The world is about to crumble down on you. So the way you act out, your response to that will be abusive. Yes. And it will be abusive to not just some random people walking down the street. People that are in your life especially if you're married, mm -hmm. 
you'll be abusive to them, mm -hmm. even if you don't mean to be abusive. Mm -hmm. And that's the part that people need to pay attention to here because a lot of people argue that that's not abuse. Well, that's because you're attaching it to intentions. Intentions of abuse are two different things. Mm. Because you didn't have the intention to abuse someone does not mean you're, you're not, not abusing, abusing them. them. Yeah. So, um, like I was saying. Yes, baby. Um, so, a guy called in and said, um, women, when they have money, they become so pompous and proud, and then they start talking nonsense to yep. their husbands. Mm -hmm. And I don't agree with that. Okay. What does that have to do? That means your Why don't wife... You agree with that? I don't agree because I feel like uh some men have a problem with women having a voice yeah if your wife if she becomes a different person because she has money mm -hmm. uh can i keep it real keep it real all right it's like two kids we're playing together right right and my mother my brother bought me a bicycle mm -hmm. like sometimes i feel like smacking you just because of that. Can you take your... I'll take your bicycle over. I'll bully you with that. Okay. You're jealous of the bicycle. Is that it's annoying? not even that. Your is mouth that is annoying. annoying. Oh, Jesus. Even your mouth is annoying. Okay? <laughs> Some people never outgrow that kind of behavior. Okay? Now, are they guilty of jealousy? Yes. Jealousy is not. doesn't always have to be negative. Mm. It could be a little nice, healthy competition. Let me get serious with my own path, too. Let me see if I can bring more to the table and we will live that life, right? I can channel that energy that direction mm -hmm. or I could just be ticked off. Like just annoyed that you're talking about your new nursing job. How much don't make it going on? You know, there are people like that, that every time you see something good, mm -hmm. they always, that direction of of thinking about it is like, uh, I'm sorry. You bought a house. Cool. Anybody can buy a house. People that talk like that—that's envy. <laughs> but but, and, but and you that's get my point, negative, right? by the way. That's negative because if your right. spouse mm -hmm. now is doing something that is big, you can be your 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 spouse. You're supposed to be your spouse number one but, fan. Like I said, there are many energy uh, pieces of the energy that come to the table to act like that. It comes from envy. It comes. Uh, you have to be deliberate with this kind of things. You have to say, no, she's doing well for herself. Never even mind that you gotta use what that she's to your doing. Advantage. Never even mind that what she's doing. Like, for example, let's say you pick up a new craft and people don't make more than $10,000 on the craft. Instead of me, the, the, maybe my first instance is to say, why are you wasting your time on that? I pause. Right? I didn't even mean to hurt your feelings. I'm actually looking out for you, but the feeling I'm going to plant on you it's not going to be that. You're mm -hmm. going to feel discouraged. Yes. And you're going to react to that. You're going to defend that. No, there are people that are absolutely making million dollars doing this piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's my responsibility. Okay. Even if it is not my responsibility, I should take it as a responsibility to say, no, she's, she's excited about that right now. Let me encourage you. Oh, pretty nice. Just listen. By the way, there may be things you don't even see about that thing that has a really big potential. Mm -hmm. But if you're very quick to talking things down, right? Talking your spouse down. Talking them down about something they're excited about or mm -hmm. they tick you off, you know? Mm -hmm. I always say this. Back in days, there were times that you just walk by and nothing was wrong and I would just be annoyed. Nah, that's inside of you. It's you. It was. It's you that have the problem. <laughs> what? But, 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 <laughs> But it wasn't about you. Exactly, it, my point. It depends on the mood <laughs> that I'm in. But if I, but if you, but has there been time that you came to tell me that I just kind of, I was ticked off, like, leave me alone for now, right? You're cranky. I was cranky, Jesus. right? Jesus. So, a lot of patience, like, you need those massive dose of patience mm -hmm. coming from both sides, mm -hmm. right? And the way that's only possible is when you are immersed in your personal purpose. Yeah. If you don't have a personal purpose in life, you will have time for bullshit. That's just the way it works. The I do mind is the devil's playground. Yes, it is. But when you're so busy and the spouse is asking for quality time, great. Now you can create quality time. If you are so less busy and spouse is like, I don't want to come home. You got a serious problem in your hands. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what that comes down well, to. Well, there are some people that actually have a headache when it's time to go home. You know, you've been at work since morning and it's evening time. Like and I always say, I feel like women home. have a meeting and use the same oh language. Oh, my God. I hear that so much. Oh, my God. Like, that sometimes I just don't want to go home. I hear that so much. People say they drive around Imagine. just because they don't want to. That's a sign of mental and emotional abuse. abuse. Don't take an offense. It doesn't have to be intentional. Mm. Just understand that if your wife had said that, something is off. Mm -hmm. And you should work on it. Mm -hmm. You should work on it. If you take an offense, you will mess things up more. Because if you take an offense, you get defensive, then you abuse more. Mm -hmm. It's a vicious cycle, right? It is a vicious cycle. Yeah. So Now, on the case of women... Now we're going to do one hour. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to ask you a thought on this. <laughs> All right. On a case of a woman having a child mm -hmm. and bringing that child mm -hmm. to her husband as his own, wow. what's your take on that? Because that seems to be some, I don't know if it's common, but it's common something news. that's not that's not Nigeria the reason why I don't want to touch too much on that, right? It's not really a marriage issue at that point. Once you find yourself bringing another person's kids to their family mm -hmm. and it was hidden completely, and mm -hmm. that's that's not that's not really a marriage issue now, that's that's personal issue. She's she's been soaked in by the devil, and um, yeah, that's terrible. That's what a, would you say that, a guy should do? What was a if guy he finds do? if he if he finds himself in a situation like that, like obviously this guy that we talked about mm -hmm. that killed his wife did not handle it in the best way at all. And yeah. there'll be people saying, Ah, it's was, not his the first fault. Thing to he do, was pushed there. If no. you find yourself in that situation, the first it's thing to do, find yourself in that situation, the first thing to do is to seek professional help, counseling. That's all I can say about that. Because every situation is different, right? And uh his he just got like destroyed mm -hmm. that would destroy a man mm. emotionally mm -hmm. mentally he will always wonder how what did i do wrong what where did i fall short mm -hmm. as a human being not even as a man mm. you know that that's a terrible thing to happen to anybody and the first thing is to to seek professional therapy help so that it can help him make sense out of all of those things and and just as hopefully they will help him make it not about her mm -hmm. and how he's going to get himself back on his feet as a man first before we can even talk about all that marriage stuff honestly marriage is not do or die like you would say no it's not do. <laughs> i've been saying that forever and i say that because if mm -hmm. you're not happy you can't project happiness yeah and when you can't project happiness you have children that you're why you continue that let's switch the topic immediately to second type of abuse financial abuse in the marriage what Maybe. is a financial abuse in the marriage excuse me can i finish my thoughts no because we have one can hour. i finish my thoughts no now you can finish okay so if but you I can wanted to oh introduce that topic can i finish my thoughts yes babe come go. thank you so if you can't project happiness mm -hmm. you are creating trust toxic situation yes. especially for your children yes. and you're creating more damaged kids this is why i say marriage is not a do or die women out there say but it's because of my children you're not doing your children any good all those things they're saying they're not only saying it they're learning it and they're going to take it into their own world mm -hmm. so i just want to say are, we should all do better if you're if you're damaged um you know, we were watching a story. Instagram will come back if we have to. We we'll try to keep this in one hour, but she uh, won't let me. What do you mean I won't uh, let you? But, you talk the most <laughs> because because uh, there's an excuse. We gotta cover this. Excuse me. This. Okay. But um, anyway, so um, there's a lady that that we're just watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think it's okay, guys. This one hour stuff is too short, too. Ah, but I, I think it's because we're the one talking. <laughs> you two talk small, jeez. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let you know, there's this lady. Um, I didn't want to touch on it before, but we should touch on it. Okay. Uh, I just try to separate it from the. We'll come back. Just uh, if you're on Instagram, we'll come right back. Let's keep that in mind, okay? Um, there's this um. There's, there's this lady. It was attached to the lady that passed away last week. Oh. You know, but she, the news came out, blah, blah, blah. 
basically the brother of the lady. I'm not going to mention their names just to, you know, but lady that passed away, big lady, businesswoman, pastor wife. That no one ever celebrated until she yeah. passed away, which is really annoying. Right. So people need to they try to separate the two here. news because the two news actually don't have anything to do with each other. But the brother of that lady is married, was married to this girl. And I just watched some interview with the girl. And uh, I just noticed that she's done a, a good job of coming out of that marriage and building herself. Right. But there was also some damages in terms of how she sees relationships. Ships, eh. Your outlook on it's relationships real. in life will shape your life. Like mm. you don't really have a choice. Because you need you need relationships. You're going to need it. You need companionship of some sort. We all do. Right? So if you've been hurt and now you feel like that's that's like it, that's what that's the kind of toll that emotional mental and physical abuse can have on people yeah it can destroy people for a long time where they don't feel like what do i need a man for yeah what do it, I need a relationship it becomes for? a fear mm -hmm. you know right but the truth is that the reason why it's hard why it seems hard to have relationship a solid relationship or it's not easy is because hard and easy are not relevant to relationship Anything that's worthwhile takes time, patience, okay. and you have to work on it. Yeah, and it's not gonna just overnight just be. Oh, happen. it's not gonna be overnight success. Coco. All right, yeah. we'll be right back. Instagram. All right, let's Boy, see. You end it yourself. It's two. You seconds. don't let it end. It's two seconds, so I can control it. All right. You wanted a dramatic mouth. What? Okay, nothing. Because what, what you why are you over here causing trouble? Excuse me? <laughs> you it. see? That's what I'm saying. I said let it. Me, I said talk. it. Nigga, let me talk. How do we hear that? I said I'm abusing you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's not letting that talk. You see? Okay. All right. So, let's come right back to... Don't leave me. 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 <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Yay. What was I saying? Ah, excuse me? I'm your assistant. About <laughs> day, I don't remember what you were saying. Oh, you were talking about the girl that uh, is scared of going into relationships. Yes, she she didn't say she's scared, but she is, <laughs> right? You don't fact. have to say it. If you say you don't want to mess with mm -hmm. another gender again, uh, right? That's coming from. Fact. So she did say once she get there, you know, she she did. She's open, but she I see it as a for. From what I know, if I train a person, they can get her anytime. Mm. The problem is that there's not a lot of men hmm. that are strong enough out here. And that, so what is the, right. old, why are men not strong? If you build yourself as a man, you can get any girl you want. That's just the way it works. Okay. If you build yourself as a king, mm -hmm. you can get any girl, any woman you want. And a king does not what? He does not beat. He does not abuse. Yeah. Is self sustainable? Absolutely not. Uh, so let, let me see. All right, see, see, he's got to find one in Laura Sandy. <laughs> what have I? Is that a bad day? <laughs> what? Delina said, I agree, the hour is too short. Ah, Delina, maybe you should come and take over. And it doesn't wear a bad day. A bad day, a bad Let me just say this. Real talk. Uh, 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 <laughs> why you gonna pull my bra out like that? All right, all right, all right. Thanks, dude. It's, lo it's love, love. Thanks, uh, Niran. A bad day. Let's see. Uh, so, um, real talk. Mr. Tunde Omoloja says that man has mental issue. There's nothing Serious in this world that will want killing your spouse over. Just move on, dog. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with the you. Brain, the brain, 100%. that's why we got to nurture our brain. Our brain don't really know when to stop. It's based on habits. If you have habits of emotional abuse and you're building on top of it, and but that person is also, you said they had, a, uh, she had kids for other people, right? I didn't say she had kids Are you for pregnant? other people. I'm not pregnant, though. Which kind of year talk about this? I beg. <laughs> what do you mean? He was pregnant for other people? I didn't say that. Oh, you didn't say that? The person that got killed they in have two Cameroon and Canada. Oh, that's another story. Yeah, no. no. That's but what she's I'm not No, no. Oh, okay, she just okay. moved down to be with a white oh, man. Okay, okay. That's a different person. And the guy snapped. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Um, But the brain doesn't know when to stop. If you continue bad habits, even if you, in your opinion, it's like, oh, it's just that small thing. No binusi. 
mm, it does build up resentment you don't know when you're building resentment in other people yeah so we have when you get into a marriage or any type of relationship you are just as responsible in making sure that you bring happiness to that dynamics and stop asking for dynamic for, for for happiness from other people if you're asking for happiness from other people there's a good chance you are bringing toxic energy into that relationship right because you're busy asking for happiness so like you said earlier, no one can give there's no happiness. in between there's mm -hmm. no in between yeah it's either you're bringing happiness or you're bringing toxic energy into yeah. a relationship i didn't say people you don't have relationship with you don't talk to right i'm talking about people you're in a relationship with even if it's uh siblings as long as you guys are relating from time to time but you're always complaining that this person doesn't make you happy you are bringing toxic energy into that relationship is that your fault it's not a matter of fault mm. it's no matter of right and wrong i'm just telling you the reality you have to be aware of it just be so aware that this is it. what we do to each other when right. we're in a relationship right right you know right. um oh. <laughs> i'll do the one hour is too short you're right <laughs> oh my <laughs> god especially if you come late right <laughs> what do you mean you guys never late to the party uh, all right so let, let's go to number two let's go to number two um which is uh financial abuse what, what does that mean to you financial abuse in a marriage mm -hmm. uh someone who is not uh that's taking the second care type. of um number two take someone who abuses money like you don't know how to save Hmm. You don't have a plan, and when you know some spouses, they have a joint account, and you know they hmm. both put into that account, and you just squander all the money, and we need money for something. You are never there to yeah. bring your part of the money. Right. right. To me, uh, that's. What thank you is. for the love. If you are dropping all those love on uh, Instagram, thank you so much. Thank um, you. Thank you. Thank you. Financial abuse, abuse generally, right, mm -hmm. is in the eyes of the of the beholder, mm. right? It's basically the person that's complaining of abuse. It's real. Mm -hmm. Just because real you don't issue. feel it's abuse. Doesn't mean that it's not there. Doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Ah, how can you call that abuse? They just said it's abuse. It's time to listen, to mm. learn something new, right? Even though you probably would not receive whatever that is as an abuse. Right. Okay. So that's what it comes down to. You have to be patient with listening. And finding out why is this person, this completely different human being, why is this person receiving my presence? Just yeah, spending a bit. It, it could just be my presence, right? Before I go into money part. Mm -hmm. Why are they receiving that as abuse? That's a question you no, want to be My presence as annoying. No, yes. Why did because I just walk reason, by you know and that you, pissed you the hell you know, off? You know, you know real why? talk i want to know <laughs> what happened you know you know why you know why i said presence right because a lot of people want to argue i did not abuse her i did not abuse him mm, they are attached to the word okay abuse. let's assume you did not mm. just your presence is being received as abusive mm -hmm. why is the question you should be asking mm -hmm. why do you feel that way why does she feel that way yeah you know and if you're going to if you want to enjoy relationships even at your job, these are the questions. It's hard questions. The only reason why it's hard is because you built you built like bad yeah, habits yeah, before. Yeah. But any professional in this world knows that that's how you want to. That's where you want to go. Mm. That's the direction you want to go. You put your hands around the lady. She said, "Take your hands off." Mm. You were just trying to. Yeah, annoying. Hug her up and love her. She did not receive it that way. For whatever reason, it is your moment to learn why. So let's bring that back to financial abuse. If she says something about, like, like something so simple, this, this is very common. But I do this for you. I buy that for you. Why are you complaining? Didn't I buy you a BMW yesterday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That can become financial abuse. Because now she's forced to say, why are you reminding you're me of the things that you bought? No, me? you're not. She well, the first thing that you you guys you, you say you're not listening. <laughs> they say you're no, not mom, listening. No, because right? men don't listen <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> so yeah, so I would say this: like you, it could also be um, anything that's if she's complaining from a standpoint of money. Let's let's say for example, she says you're squandering money, right? 
instead of you to say, how am I squandering money? Because I bought us, I bought the kids, uh, what is it? Meal. Kids meal yesterday. You say I'm abusing money. Well, she's received it as financial abuse. If she's saying that over and over again, instead of you getting defensive and just making that argument, you need to find why she feels that way. It could be something bigger than just the kid's meal. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's probably bigger than the kid's meal. Mm -hmm. She's not feeling, I keep saying he or she, it's he or she, by the way, it could be anybody. Mm -hmm. That person is not feeling safe where, with, their, with their financial life attached to you. Right. Right. Or you took a credit card or you're not paying your bills and you now don't pay your it's bills. affecting my credit as a couple. Right. Affecting our credit as a couple. Right. That's right. That that's a good example. And if you if 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 your wife complains about how money is being spent, right? right? And you go, and the first thing you want to say is, um, it's my money. It's my it's money. <laughs> well, that's abusive. <laughs> hey, <laughs> bro, Safa. Good afternoon. Uh, We're I doing mean, good great. Evening. Yeah. How you doing? I, 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 um, I, I, I'm kind of enjoying the discussion this evening. Kind of, but, <laughs> but you see, the thing is, in the last couple of weeks, uh, immediately after these several lockdowns, yes, um, we've seen the spike in domestic in the violence. Yes. From couples and all that. And um, there have been a lot of challenges and arguments on why things like this is happening. Mm. And, um, you know, for every issue, there will always be the people who feel that um, men can, can, men are to blame for most <laughs> of these things that happen. And um, I'm one of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Because they, they fail to realize that um, it's a man's world. Look, I, I'm not. I, I'm not a male uh, juvenile. And uh, but but the, the fact of the matter is, whichever religion you belong to, I'm talking about the key religion in the world islam christianity judaism most of in fact all of them give credence to the um i don't want to use the adjective supremacy i want to use let me just say to the man being the head of the family it's something that we've said before mm -hmm. on this forum so he 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 he, 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 he it, um, belittles the man when such things like paternity um, issues come up. Right. Uh, for instance, the one that happened in, in Lagos, we said last week or there about mm -hmm. uh, the guy, he, 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 the, the guy killing the wife, it was horrible the way it did huh. plucking eyes out. Yes. He, he, you see, uh, eventually they came out to say that yeah, he, he being a serial killer or a serial abuser or oh. anything like that. But all that I didn't even bother myself about. What I looked, why what I looked into um, intrinsically into it is why did she have to wait till he killed her? Because the handwriting maybe he didn't see it. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Yeah. You think? She did. She, no, you see, let, let me. There's something I know. I mean, based on my experience as a psychologist, when you see women, you you uh, you 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 agree with me. Women will see mm -hmm. and say, "I can change. Mm -hmm. I will change. It. Yeah, I will adjust it. That's true. If he loves me, he will change. If he loves me, he will bend. Mm -hmm. Always easy." Now, if we pick, but if we pick on that particular um, incident, the guy it was, it was said that the guy found out that he wasn't the father of the younger child. The second child, yeah. And he went berserk. Hmm. It will happen to any man. Jesus. But the, the thing is, we have 
our annoyance threshold, our anger threshold is different from each other. Hmm. Even as men, women, whoever, we have this threshold that is different. Some, some person will see it and walk away. Some person will see it and say, come, let's sit down and let's talk. Mm -hmm. And some person will see it and kill just hmm. the way he did. When you were talking about the Cameroonian guy yeah. that killed him, I, I, I think I read the story sparingly somewhere before. I, I, it, it's not easy hmm. when you take when when your trust is matched upon. Hmm. When it's so suddenly you see your trust being kicked out of the uh, out of the door. The lady, the lady was just plain wicked, as far as I'm concerned. Plain wicked. You see, when you you she, she from day one. It's not. It, it wasn't. It wasn't when she became a graduate, or when he did. When she became a nurse or something, mm. that that she actually decided to leave the guy. It was. It had already been in a game plan. It's a plan B. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, tell you, I tell you, I've I've read cases. I've heard cases. I've seen cases of women who were sent to school or who are held up through right. their education whichever level that by the time they achieve the goal or their age they turn to something else why do you think that's it so why i don't know if you said they are wicked uh well it's, it's, all, it's always a plan b thing they always have a plan b you think so? Who, That's who, the father are, of our wait, kids, wait, though. Wait. Who has the plan B? The lady? The, the lady that left the, the guy. Yeah. Mm. So, you, you know, it, 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 it's a plan B thing because they, they, they know as at that point that the guy was helping them out. They didn't have any other choice. Yes, he's okay. He's a, I can't. Those are just plan A tactics. By the time she becomes who she is, there is an adage in Yoruba land that says, um, see, they on bati dolo wo. Wani wa, lo man wu. Ali ka man wu. That, you have heard that? Lo ma wu, wa anu e gogon. Right. You know, so it's it's the same thing that once she's not, she has not, and it's always on the other side, that is the women's side. Once you've not achieved the aim, once you've not achieved your the goal as a woman, you still be humble, you persevere, no matter his shortcomings, you manage. Okay, very soon I will graduate. Very soon I'll become a nurse. I'll start any so by the time the by the time you become who you are supposed to be or who you plan to be, is when the man is supposed to enjoy you most. Is when even any shortcoming that he has, you are supposed to endure. I'm not saying that all men, I mean, that the man should not be abusing. The only time I agree when I'm counseling people, I, I agree to a marriage breakup. The only time I can agree that, look, you have to, you guys can go your separate rules, is when the relationship is violent. Well, but I mean, at that point, at that point, for so many people, it's too late. Some people are dead already. Yes. Because, because, they don't seek. They don't seek counseling on time. They they think it's something you can always manage. I think people, um, I, the, the mistake make the mistake a lot of people make even uh, uh, on this part of the world. Anyways, is that they don't they don't value um, counseling. They don't see counseling as something that can help their marriage. Mm. And we keep preaching it that look. It they want you see there's a different in Nigeria, in Nigeria people do not understand the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist. They don't. They it don't. is uh, <laughs> <Obawiri>. <laughs> oh, Especially <laughs> <laughs> They uh, yep. they, they don't see. They don't see that it's different. So if we go back to what we are saying, what? The, the I believe that I believe that. Um, a change in the in the um, in the media of things going on will actually come from the women. 
coming to understand that. Let me ask you a question, sir. One minute, sorry, one minute. One minute, but then you're giving a room. Yeah, one but minute. that could be said for a man and a woman. No, for the women. <laughs> See, a lot of them, I know, I know, I'm seeing, I'm you, know, you, know why my, you know why my wife is laughing, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Let, let, me, let me ask you a question. You started with, is a man's world. Why is it that, it, to me, for the past two, three minutes, I'm trying to be patient. It just sounds like you are giving the leadership role to the women. That's what it sounds like to me. You're giving a lot of responsibility to women. Including even when you said endurance, uh, I, I'm I'm asking you why does it sound like you're giving quite a lot, of, even though you started with is a men's world. You see, the thing the thing is, it um, look um, in Yoruba land again. Let me just I think a lot of Yoruba things is coming up this evening. Oni, Okoni, Bori, Ndawoni, Onu. No, my dear Bori. Say your boss, so where Ori ni Onu ni? So your boss said the neck. No, the wife is the neck, and the we know that. But did your boss say that? And the husband is the is the head. Okay. Now, when the neck talk or fixated, the head will not be able to move. Hmm. And. Like, like I always joke, I'll say, ah, my managing direct, my managing director is at home. I'm the chairman. Mm -hmm. Really? It's the truth. Mm -hmm. Look, yes. Ola, yes, sir. let me ask you, how many times do you decide what you eat in your house? What we eat you in eat our house? Never, never really. What do you mean never? Baby, I asked you sometimes, what, what do eat? you feel like eating? No, no, what I eat, I decide what I eat. But what we eat in our house, I don't decide that. In your house, in, in, when, when, when she asks you, um, what, do you, do you, what, what would you like to eat? It's only a bait. What do you mean it's a bait? She has an idea. I'm being real. <laughs> what? I'm not going to sit down here and hear that. <laughs> she already knows what she wants to make for dinner. Mm, but at least I'm like, being sweet about it. It will be. It will, yeah, you are being sweet. It will really be a bit. She, 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 she doesn't want it to be like, oh, I'm the one deciding. What do you do? Know, uh, honey, anything you do, anything you make it, so I'm okay. It's, it's a very simple bit. And, I mean, he has eaten it. So that's the way marriages are you know the when wife, when when i don't joke with it i tell people the wife is actually the one running the home you the, the but but always, but let me let me let me let me ask you a question sir yes the yes the wife is running the home yeah the wife a lot of time especially when there's crisis that's the last thing that she wants she wants a man if, it, if, it, if, it, if everything is rosy and we're all sweet and stuff, yes. That's that's all nice to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When there's crisis, which is basically what we try to address here, right? Yes. A lot of men continue to behave as if everything is good. That's where you engage in argument with a woman because you think she's your equal. If you're a leader, when there's crisis, it's time to show up as a king. You don't go hide in the corner and send people. You go to the forefront. You go to the wall front. And you address yes. the issues when things are toxic. Yes. They, so we are mixing two things together. You're absolutely right. When the company is good and everything, a manager can run the thing. I don't want to see the people that work in the factory. When there's fire, when there's fire, I need to be able to show up as a leader. And that's really what we're addressing here. A lot of men, they, they go complacent. They sleep into the, they sleep into this, uh, into this um, coma. And then they say, it's because the woman did not love. Well, let's say, let's just agree that I agree with the person. Let's just say, you're right. The woman did not do this, she didn't do that, she didn't do that. As a leader, 
how are you going to show up and, and make her do what she's supposed to do without telling her what to do? It's very simple. Very simple. You, you, you already answered it in your, in your narrative. Mm -hmm. Now, when there is crisis, a man, a man, a good man, a good father, a good husband who stand up to the occasion mm. when there is crisis. Because, look, let me, I'm, I'm trying to look at the scenario that, that probably I have gone through personally. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay, okay, your, your wife, my, my, my wife drove out and, um, and she, she, she had an accident. Oh, wow. And that's the sort of and Sorry. I was called called me. Um this 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 happened and all that and I got there and I and I told I just come. Got there, the very first thing I asked her, are you okay? She said she's okay. Are you sure you're okay? She said she's okay. I said, Okay, can I have the key to the car? Go and sit down or take the car that I brought. Drive and just can you drive? Are you okay? Are you coming up? And I can see she's coming up. Or I came with somebody as a piece. Just you guys go. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that could have happened, I'll settle it. Mm -hmm. We will now decide who is at fault or what is at fault. How do we go about it? But you see, some some people, some some husbands will be called, and it will be panic. It will be anger. It will yes. be annoyance. Yes. Yes. So, it's my car. Mm -hmm. You are. Mm -hmm. you are. This is that. What kind of woman are you? When did I buy you? Exactly. And, and it's like you're putting petrol um, on fire. Because you just lose all the morale. And yes. feel like, oh, I, it gave it to my car. If I had bought this car with my money. You won't tell me that. that. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that brings us back to financial abuse now. Why is that? Uh, yeah. Can you can you explain that deeper, sir? You see, the thing is, women will always say, "My husband' money is our money, but our own money is okay. our own money." Okay. You have a problem with that, sir? He has a problem with it. I don't. Okay. I don't. He said he doesn't. <laughs> So for those of you on Facebook, YouTube, he said, women will always say, our own money, uh, uh, my husband's money is our money. My own money is my money. Right. Go ahead, sir. Yes. I've said that in the past. You see, if a man can, if a man has said that fact, you won't, you won't have challenges with whatever she makes. You won't have challenges with, look. But is it, but it's not, it's not necessarily fact. I, if a woman says that to me, I like yes, maybe you're right. Or I say, if I want to joke, I can joke around and say, "Oh, what are you? Like in a, like keep it lightheaded, right? Do you know it's an advantage to you if she, if, if your wife says that? That's what I'm saying. So so it goes back. You made a, you made an example. Sorry to cut you off, sir. Let let me jump in real quick. You you. Hola. Oh 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 oh. oh, oh. And she's she's comfortable. No, no, no. I agree with you. I agree with you. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just expatiating on it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, for instance, know how much my wife earned as a civil servant. I don't. Because it doesn't bloody affect me. I'm sorry for that use of adjectives. Okay. Mm -hmm. In any way. Yes, the only way that I know it's beneficial to me is to my kids. Because. Whatever she makes, she spends part of it on the children. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. That's right. In, so, in, in, in a way, I'm benefiting from it too because my children are benefiting from it. But personally, I make it a point and I advise people to not see their wife's income as part of the responsibility what if you but what if you are presented with a person responsibility to take out the you know the the question i have for you sir 
what if you are present what if a person presents to you and that's an issue for him and or he, maybe the wife is making more money and he's not making as much money and, that's because he knows now he's saying he advises that people should not know at all what if you now know i have several of those uh, surrounding me several of those instances that the wife is making more money and they have appeal okay now the, the thing is this like i said it still boils down on what we are talking about hmm. your money the, hus the husband's money is our money my money as a woman is my money but you see my husband can always can always acknowledge you know you know what the beautiful thing yes which i think i'm even missing out to tell you guys is that once the husband has learned to always acknowledge whatever effort the woman is making towards the family upbringing is going to be enjoying he will enjoy once he acknowledges the fact that oh darling it, it, it she knows how much he's earning she knows what she has i mean what he has and what effort he's making i know a couple i know a couple the wife the wife is is is, is, is like is a direct is a director in um lagos state civil service and the husband is well hustling businessman he does his bit he makes enough money but the wife is very very comfortable now you will discover that i i discovered one, one or two interactions with them that she's the one that takes care of most of the responsibility of the house yeah, but there's some of when, they, when they need to fix the car or do some manly things, the man steps in. And, and okay. most of the time, most of the time, he gives, he shows a lot of gratitude to the wife. Mm -hmm. And if you are not close to them as a couple, you won't know. Because the, the way the wife glorifies the husband, you oh. never know. Ah, like, He's not the one that is actually putting down the door. It's the woman. But if you do that, if you know them from afar. So, because the man shows a lot of gratitude, he, he, he gives, he carries his wife so much in within, between themselves, not, not even uh, outside, that he appreciates her a lot and you know, makes her realize that, look, yes, we, we are able to send our kids abroad for their education. Mm. You pay that most of the time, you give them pocket money, you pay this, you do that. So when, when she talks about finances, he doesn't argue with her because he knows she's doing a lot. So in such instances, they have a very beautiful family, a very beautiful home. So even if you are not contributing to the finances, you don't have a right to talk about finances. But, but you know, but you know, it's a very stupid man. I'm sorry to use that argument. That we have a family and not contribute anything. Oh, yeah, so, awesome. so now we're talking. Now let's yeah, talk. Awesome. That's yeah, why. Good. That's why you know. Let, let, now let's talk. Now we're talking because I told you we're talking about the crisis situation when everything is rosy and nice. It's easy for a man to be. A man, when he get when he faces crisis, the breeds of men that are out here right now today, they don't know how to handle crisis, especially the emotional crisis. They can fix tires. I get that part. It's not, that's not the problem of a lot of ladies. But when there's a simple argument between the man and the wife, they get butt hurt. How do you say that, Yoba? If a woman says our money, like his blood will boil so fast. What do you mean? <laughs> right? I just give that as an example, but many other things that's just words that you could just let the woman be a woman in that moment. But the blood boils and they don't know how to handle it. And then they start argument and they say it's okay to argue with your wife. After all, we're just friends. Not knowing that she's building resentment, I'm telling you the potential crisis that brews from just simple one one on one word like this. You see what I'm saying? Before you know it, 
because they argue in the morning. Moto kuso di ano? Hello, my all right. Eh, oh, the mechanic. Oh, the pin mechanic. Me, pin mechanic. So, because they normal mechanic, right? Or just people generally get complacent, right? And say we've been together for five years. She knows the numbers to call, right? Maybe because it's also it could also be soaked up by his, um by a lot of stuff that's going on at his job. Maybe he's stressed out from work. They don't even know how to talk about those things they with can't. their wives. I'm talking, I'm talking specifically when people are facing crisis, not when everything is good, because that's easy to handle by anybody. Anybody it's easy for anybody to be. I'm just I'm a good man. Why do why do why is it that when a woman is complaining, a man, but I'm a good man. How can a good man? I'm a good man. Why is she complaining all the time? Because you're falling short with respect to the woman you have in your house. You need to listen and learn what is the issue. Now, I'm not saying they haven't listened and learned. I'm saying they are telling me they haven't listened and learned just by their words. The example I was given earlier, sir. This guy came on Instagram to say, please, I don't want the news out there. I just, my, my, my sister just died. We know what my wife did in the past. Thank you for being uh, coming to my vengeance. That sentence alone told me that he was abusive to that girl. He couldn't even let that one last sentence go. Sharing come on, sir. Can your mom mora? Can your mom? Yeah, vengeance. Like thank you to for, for because they put the blasted news out and they were supporting him. This is the mother of your kids, and you are now rooting for them. You are saying shut down the news, but please. Thank you for the vengeance. You can't even say that's the mother of my kids. Please don't Please talk respect. about my mother. Respect yeah. the mother of my kids, yeah. regardless yeah. of what she had done. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by being butt hurt. Just somebody to know how to catch a moment like that, right? Those little little things, emotional, strictly emotional is what I'm talking about. Not the physical part. Because you go out to work and you produce money, it's, it's not good enough. You, you see where, where I'm coming from, sir? I think the problem is that men have become entitled because it's a man's world. They can't let little things or mistakes that their spouses do just go by. They have no patience. So there's men. Can I say that? They have no patience. Because if you go to the, to the stories of these men that feel the need to kill their wives because of what the wives have done, it's entitlement. Like what the hell does she think she is? You did create a human being, but you took the human being out because you feel like they did something wrong to you. I don't think that's a man, and I don't think that's how a man should be. You are, you are perfectly right, really, perfectly right. But you know something I tell people these days? I tell them um, when when you do stuff for people, but for, for your partner, mm -hmm. your your girlfriend. And you know you are doing stuff for that person, um, and you are godly. Just have it behind your mind that you are doing it for God. Thank you. That, Thank you. That can pay you back. That can give you. Um, how do I put it? That can give you the, the benefits for what you've done or what you are doing is God. Yes. Yep. I've seen. And it makes life so easy because human beings can always and might always disappoint oh, sure. you. Absolutely. Yes, preach. <laughs> never do that. Including your wife and your husband. Yes, even your children, sir. <laughs> when I say human being, anybody. Anybody, yes. So, things where you're doing stuff, believe I'm doing it for God. So if, if 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 I get I get the reward for what I'm doing, so be it. Yes. Yes. Because people people just like just like Lola said, people believe that I've done a lot for you. A sense of entitlement. That's the problem. Woman siregun, lori gupon siregun. That siregun is the challenge. Once you have it behind your mind, look, I sent out to school. Mm. <laughs> it's no wonder why that person is building resentment. So when that person is 
person becomes whoever she is and turns against him, then the resentment will be gigantic. Exactly. So that's now a crisis for him. I said that's now a crisis for him that he can't handle. It's a crisis for him that he will not be able to handle because over the time, what he was he was doing whatever he was doing for so, her, ah, not for so her. Yeah. He had forgotten. Excuse me. <laughs> and he had forgotten that you can't play now. Go go go, 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 on, go on, go on, help him so that we can clean. So no, he's always I I left I left, I left my bedroom for him. Ah. <laughs> but he knew now. He knew. He knew what you were up to. <laughs> so you, you, you see that if for any reason you do anything you do, I, I've seen I've seen so many so many of these issues budding on I did this, I did that. Yes. Yes. And at the end of the day, they are disappointed. And when they are disappointed, they take it personal. That's when the killing issue comes in. That's when the acid issue comes in. Oh my in. God! I've, 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 I've had a situation whereby I had to advise a couple. I had to advise a couple that when the the husband the husband actually sent the wife to school, gave her education and everything, and um, afterwards, one thing led to the other. Not intentionally, he met somebody else. And um, he decided to marry her because he, he, he had to be. Go, had go, to go, go and take care of him so we can handle some other business. He, he had to believe that. He, he had, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll soon be true. Okay. He had to believe that yeah, um, she, she will understand. And she didn't take it nicely. <laughs> she became very abusive. Very, but, but the man, the man had one thing because by the time I talked to both of them, mm -hmm. he said that she can, she can resent him if she wants to. She can even go if she wants to, as long as she leaves his children. That he loves her to be. That's an abusive statement right there. Mm -hmm. But, but that he, he said he loves her to be, which is she doesn't leave him. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't understand. He, he failed. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't understand what happened to him having the other woman. That it has happened. It has happened. He has asked for forgiveness, and that she knows she's resenting him because of the actions that he has taken. But that he now wants to use what he has done to punish him. Well, to, to, to ask for her, to, to get her forgiveness, more or less like answer pay over fee in quarter to shift for office. Oh, that sounds gonna that? work. So, the, 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 it, it took a long time, and I and I told him that just like you were saying at the beginning of the show when I joined, that having, um, uh, having patience. It's very difficult that when when you are exercising patients for, for crisis, you have to have a lot of lots of um, yes. Yeah. So yeah, I advise, I counsel it that look, all you need to do is continue to have patience. Yes. And continue yes. to ask for her forgiveness. That it will take time out for her to cut out. But once she does that, when she's one, once she's she when her feelings have gone down, she definitely will forgive you. That she loves you, she doesn't want your your marriage to break. Whatever condition she wants to give, that once you are ready to abide by it, then you guys will move forward. I I I, I thank God that it took a long time before she was able to get back to to her, get back herself because she 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 had always. Dreamed of the Cinderella ideal marriage mm. kind of thing. And they, both of them were lovely. They, they are a lovely couple to be old. Uh, but what happened happened. It, it wasn't like he was a promiscuous. I mean, he's a promiscuous person. He isn't. That those whatever led to that other relationship is story for another day. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is that she took time out 
paid Oti to now come to forgive him. Which is one thing most women, most women will not take. Oh, I'm moving out. I'm moving out. Next up for them. <laughs> All right, sir. We will continue next week, sir. Another one I is up. Oh my God! Are you serious? I know. Oh, it is up. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Man. Yeah, please just yeah. cut him off. Sorry. Uh, yeah. The the recording is also very important. Sorry. Um. So, what do you think? What I said. What I think is men, okay, of today's world, okay, mm -hmm. they don't have patience. They don't. They're so entitled and addicted to that. It's a man's world. Or I did, this, like he said, when men do things for, if you want to do something for your wife, do it because you are doing it for God, not because you want something in return. Because guess what? That woman tomorrow can decide that she doesn't want to be with you for one reason or the other. Even you can decide you don't want to be with her tomorrow. So you can't just take somebody's life because you sent them to school, they became a nurse, and they are rich, and now because they don't want you anymore, kill them? It makes no damn sense to me. All right, so... It's a weak man that behaves that way. You're not self-sustainable by yourself. I understand. Oh, okay, what if the woman is being wicked? You want to stay with a wicked woman? Come on, do yourself one of, a favor. One of the issues here, you know, I can always count on Brad TK to... To give me a rebutter when it comes to that's why I said it's a man's world. Men need to take responsibility because I can always count on him to mm. push back at that mm. and and other people, other other men. For the most part, they push back on that because the fact that they always push back on that is mm -hmm. exactly what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the issue. The fact that we feel the need to push back when, when a the woman, woman has is a voice complaining. Instead of just being the king, um, you know, uh, he just said something. Let me just pick on that. He just said, um, most women would not forgive. Hmm. You know, that statement is, it's also true for men. As you a matter know? of fact, I found out that even for women men. forgive more than men. Half of the things men do to women, I don't agree. women can't do it agree. to men. I don't, I don't agree. People are just people. I'm just saying, if we're going by percentages here, yeah, who's giving a percentage? You did the statistics. No, you did the study? if we go, if we go with Nigerian men, for example, what do you mean Nigerian men? How many of them are women don't. I'm just saying, like from stories out there, women exactly. so who guessing. always take their men back, but men, for the most part, they are killing their wives, killing them for mistakes. No, I don't. I don't agree. People are just killing them. Oh, I, I, the reason, stories are out there. And I'm saying that with love, you know. The reason why I'm saying that. The stories are out there. The re reason why I'm saying that, because I want to bring it back to the center. There are real reasons why these things happen to normal people. And that's what we should be talking about. I know that's boring as hell. We'd rather bash men or bash women. I'm not bashing men. I just know? need them to stop being um, entitled. But, but there are real reasons why normal human beings, a percentage of them, can escalate issues to that negative level. Mm -hmm. There are real reasons behind that that normal people like you and I can learn and avoid such situation. You know, and that's that's the that's that's where we should that's the that's where we should conclude when it comes down to talking about abuse and marriage. People are abusive because people are narcissistic. They will abuse you even if they don't mean to. They will. The idea of somebody killing somebody, right? And and you know that's things have gone too late at that point in time, right? Is it possible that person that's not that's regular right now can get to that point? Yeah, if they keep if they keep on holding on to bad habits of abuse, as little as verbal abuse. Me and you just abuse myself abuse ourselves verbally and right? you just thrive on that and you're enjoying that and you, everybody get toxic and you now go to sleep and you start it's again tomorrow or two weeks from now yeah. that's how you did that last week those verbal abuse right we're talking about number one type of abuse right now verbal right um 
if you keep doing that, it can escalate to that. Oh, yeah, to the next level. And if you feel like I came from a good home, I cannot escalate to that. Your wife came from a different place, and you just don't know what she's capable of, or vice versa. Mm. So if you're verbally abusive, you learn, you, learn, you know how to rain curses on people because you're feeling somehow in the moment, right? Just understand that you're building resentment in the other person mm -hmm. and you just don't know where the breaking point is. Yes, that's true. You don't know. And I always like to bring it back because I think I'm just going to continue to be the police of bringing it back to we're talking about crisis. We're talking about crisis prevention here. You don't have to wait until it's too late. Right. Until things are really, really bad. You don't have to wait until that before you understand that people are just people. We all have emotions that escalate, maybe not to that extent, but we all do. You know, we all do. So verbal abuse, you have examples of verbal abuse. What is what is abuse? Before there was something that somebody posted that I didn't get a chance to, to talk about. All right. That's when we we're talking about uh, financial, financial abuse. abuse. Holding your spouse's money as hostage, mm -hmm. always borrowing from spouse and making them feel guilty when they want to borrow. When they don't want to borrow. Or when they don't want to borrow, right? And uh, and then, let's see, I think there's uh, more here. Borrowing and not paying back as promised and accusing the borrower as being greedy. Yeah. Let me guess. Men do that a lot. Okay. <laughs> from... <laughs> I know my dad has done that to my mom. <laughs> and we also had Omobolaji was saying some things. I couldn't address Omobolaji. Sorry about that. Oh, my Omobolaji. God. Uh, he said, well, I'm still a little guy. No one's no, no, a little he said, guy. He said something ahead of time before. Well, I'm not a perfect man, but I think I need to give thanks to God because I'm blessed with a beautiful wife. We don't have issues. Even if we have, we always solve it once. A lot to talk about. Yes, that's good for you, bro. Uh, yes, because I was told behind a successful man, there's a, always a woman. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about a man who doesn't feel successful because if he felt successful, he wouldn't feel the need to respond to uh, your money is our money. Okay, babe. That doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever you practice in your household, like he said, it doesn't, it doesn't encourage joint accounts. It really depends on people to people. It depends. Because some people are more comfortable with being able to manage money. What I'll say is have both. Have a uh, separate account. Uh, being able to be part stuff. of something. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some women want to contribute. It makes them feel good as a person that um. That's another issue entirely. So that I, I would not knock joint account. There's nothing wrong with that. You can have a separate account and also a joint account yeah. towards things that you guys Because when we say like that, sometimes it's like you can either have one or the other no you can have all of it you can you can have joint yeah and you can have separate accounts right right and i recommend all of the above Me there are too. things we need to do together i thought the money in there you have access yes. to the card too. exactly and there are things that i do separately i have businesses that i run that has nothing to do with you and you don't have you don't want to have anything with it i think bro ticket is coming from the standpoint of an african man of how we're raised in africa like a man has to be the one to you know deal with all the financial issues but that also put a lot of pressure on the man no but 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 even though that's true mm -hmm. a lot of women even they though they feel want included. even though they want equality mm -hmm. you see, you're saying opposite all of it exists is my point the one you just mentioned exists but the women one... women complain mm -hmm. when they have a man who cannot pay bills uh... not because of the money. That's the financial abuse part of it I was trying to bring out, right? Right. Because we have to finish in six minutes, whatever right. we do, right? Not, the, not not that you're not paying money. That's not the problem. It's they don't feel like you're a man. They don't feel safe. Uh, they feel like you're a dead bit. They're exactly. not financially secured. You see that emotional part of it that I brought out? Right. That's the part that most men are missing. Mm. Why is she complaining? Because, uh, because I'm short on my business right now you're stuck on the physical aspect of it mm. and that's why you're struggling well maybe that's true that what that tells me is that's how that man is feeling in that moment you truly feel like that you're not coming up with your part mm -hmm. but you're using the woman as an excuse because she's the first one to say it out yes so like i said earlier the first question to always ask is like why is she feeling that way right 
Let's, let me not get defensive. I'm probably missing something because you're probably missing something. You're missing something. Obviously, that's why there's chaos, right? Because if you weren't missing something, you'd be able to fix it. Like, yeah, forgive me. Yeah, forgive me like that. You couldn't, so you're missing something. Let's keep it simple, right? Let's keep it real and simple. It's not because she's just guilty. She just doesn't have patience. She just doesn't want to forgive. Who doesn't want to forgive? Forgiving, forgiving people feel, feels good. Actually, at the end of the day, the reason why they can't forgive is because they're hurting. They're hurting, yes. And if they're hurting, that will require patience for it to heal, like any other kind of wound. No, but the men just want you to, I said sorry, just forget about it, let's move on. It's not that easy for women. So the issue there is, it keeps sounding like men bashing. No, I am saying we can do better. I agree, absolutely. 100%. That's all I'm saying. A hundred percent. I agree with you, babe. You know, that's all. We I'm can saying. all do better, men, women. We need to stay open. Okay. I don't have a joint account with my wife, but she had access to one of my accounts. Absolutely, yeah. So, so there's no. I agree with that because there's no one size fits all. It's whatever right. works for each other. The fact that she has access to your account, that's essentially acting like a joint account. Right. It's not about the physical the technicality thing there, but what is functioning as. That account is functioning as a joint account. So when a, when a man is defensive and say, no, I don't want anything to do with you. What do you need? I'll just give it to you. Well, for the most part, they don't do that. Because if it was that, it would that be That sounds easy. like financial secrets to me. No. For, can, now, can yeah, I, I know. That, can I put that out there? <laughs> I know, but but uh, but 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 if they did that, it would be easy to address him and say, "Why are you doing that to your wife?" But the problem is that they don't do that. They do the mo the hardest one, mm -hmm. which is they don't really say what they feel, and they no 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 I don't I don't do anything with women. No no and it's okay like that. Another issue for that the become wife. resentment. Resentment on the wife's part. Yes, that's that right there will fall under financial abuse. Wait, we because, have a request in here. Yeah, we're we're running out of time, but let's see if we can drop all your submission in one minute. Sure. Yes. Maybe we can get one all minute. Right, so verbal abuse. Sir, we're about to be out. Yeah, he said decline. Maybe it's a, can I ask a question? Yes, a ask. I just tried to pull you on, but please ask question. So basically, continues by having the ATM. And she only needs to tell me what it's for, and it doesn't even happen like like that all the time yeah it's whatever works for you there's no one size yes so, it's all yes so the key thing is that if she's time. complaining about something or yes. your sense and then you're not and you're like no nah, i can't do that that will become abusive because you start feeling unsafe in the situation and then you find a lot of women will say i keep my own separate account that he, he doesn't know about that's right. a woman i can't blame a woman for that and i'm not blaming men either i'm just saying leadership where's the leadership yeah when there's crisis, let's be open right? let's be opening to let's be open to listening to one another yes and be more solution oriented instead of you know fighting and bashing each other over yeah these issues yeah and that won't lead to somebody killing somebody or somebody so, having another baby out of marriage and um delina says that's right women forgive men easily compared to men based off of what I've seen around me yeah, too. All these statisticians, me too. Statisticians, uh, statistics. Okay, I've seen these things around that me. can show me their studies. People <laughs> are people. What can really make marriage long and last forever? You ask answer that question. We got two minutes what to can, answer that question. Oh, okay. You have to be opening. You have to be. You have to work on your marriage on a daily basis. You can't have attachment to your spouse. You have to be self-sustainable. You have to be, you know, you have to, you, you have to do what's best for you. You have to, you have to work together. Like, I feel honestly for me, it me and my spouse, me it's, and my it's, spouse. It's, it's trying to tell us something. Well, I don't have issues with my wife. Yet. You're okay. right. But. No, maybe never. Congratulations. Well, but, but, but. I don't but, believe there's any marriage that don't have ahead, issues. Babe. There are marriages that even, even if you don't have issues now, you might have one in the future. <laughs> No, but well, if it feels if it feels good right now, it feels good. About that's the, a good the, thing. That's a good thing. But what works for me and my spouse is that we are each other's best friend. So no matter what the situation is, mm -hmm. we try to talk it out, tackle it. Don't go the negative way. Fighting is not going to resolve anything. I mean, we've been through our own in the past. 
And now we're back together. We don't want to do things the way we did it in the past. We do things in a different way now. My husband know when I'm catching feeling and he wants to talk about it. I know when he wants to talk about it and I, I listen and we look for solutions. That's just what it is. And it's a daily daily thing, right, babe? Yep. What else can I say? There's no there's, secret to there's only, there's, a happy marriage. Yeah, you know? it's just, and it's, it's not one size fits all, honestly. He, he, used, he used the word forever, last long and forever. So if you want your relation, your marriage to last long and forever, stop worrying about forever and just make today your forever. Just yeah. enjoy today. Don't be attached yeah. to the forever world. The marriage is as good as today. Tomorrow will take care of yourself. Don't be obsessed about yesterday, which is why people struggle with forgiveness. Don't be obsessed about <laughs> tomorrow, which is why people struggle with anxiety. Uh, just enjoy your wife right now and be there to give to her today. Knowing that she may not be there tomorrow to give to you tomorrow or give back to you. And only God, like Bharti K said earlier, only God will, will help Bharti you. Bharti K said perseverance. Yeah. Perseverance sounds like hard work, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, that sounds too hard. And people that's why say, people are running. People say compromise. And I do agree with compromise. But I do believe that sometimes, sometimes that means people confuse what compro compromise means. Because mm -hmm. compromise is us, you know, coming together, okay, mm -hmm. meeting halfway. They confuse it with what? They confuse it with, with oh, because you are compromising, you are compromising your freedom and, and your peace. peace of mind. Yeah. No, you never that's, that's have why. to give up your peace of mind or your freedom as compromise. I don't agree with that. Yeah, that's that compromise does not mean you compromise freedom and peace. You have to love in a way that the other person feels free. Yes. And if you don't absolutely. feel free, you're not going to persevere. Perseverance, <laughs> it's not going to happen. It'll be hard as hell. Thank you, everyone. Instagram, we're rounding up. You got 13 yes. seconds. Um, and Thank you, guys. It was and, awesome. Uh, but our family was in the house. Really? You. We we're about to wear your T-shirt just now, but we, it just came in. Good like, talk, like family. Literally. All right. So thank you, bro. Thank family. you, That's bros. my bros. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you one. so much. Instagram ended. Let me make sure I share it. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Facebook. Thank we gotta you, YouTube. We got to keep having these deep conversations. We have to have these deep conversations because, uh, to be frank with you, um, it's not as simple as somebody's just wrong. That's the easy thing for people to do. Just point fingers. It's yeah, the but woman what, that's how wrong. How do we move on from that? I it's the woman that's wrong. It's the man that's wrong. No. It's the leadership that's wrong. We need to learn how to lead men. Okay, it's not our fault. We just gotta learn it. When there's crisis, it's not men's fault. Okay, men yeah, have been babied not, forever. It's not men's fault. The thing is that by we, women, we receive it as why are they just always blaming us? Mm. You know, but these women, they they are they they get arrogant when they have a new job. Mm. They they do this. They they, they don't feel know how powerful. to be patient. Okay, but if you understand, you're a king. A woman can feel free to be arrogant if she wants to. She will come back to her senses with time. Yeah. Even if she is. Yeah. I'm not saying she is. Even if she is. You're not if you're patient that enough, and all that, that is stuff. not a, a space that, that a woman wants to be in consistently. However, you will help her stay in that space if you get defensive and you get jealous because she's feeling like she's doing something and you want to just shut it down right now and stop feeling like something. If that's what you want to do, you're going to help her stay in that and she's going to fight back because that's that's attacking her and she's going to want to defend herself because you're attacking her. But if you're a king, you know that it's okay for your queen to feel like... I get like her 15, min right? uh, 15 minutes of fame now. And then What's you root for that? her. Exactly. You root for her. Be a cheerleader. And then she will love you to death. And then she will come back and say, let me calm down. A woman will be, be the first to tell you, let me calm myself down. Okay. Right, mm. but you are busy just being butt hurt because she just started making 50 grand per year. Are you serious? I know, what if right? she becomes a follower? You always lucky ja, benefit from uh, that billionaire lady, right? Yeah, if my woman becomes a kalaki ja, good for her. Okay, <laughs> now her money is ours. <laughs> Duh, how hard is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got thank you so much, everyone. Thank, thank you, you. Guys. thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Please share, share, share. We'll continue to have the conversation. We had a good time today, they sure did. And uh, we'll see you That's on awesome. the next one. Peace.